Dave Palumbo here with an RX Muscle News update. The bodybuilding world lost a legend. IFBB Hall of Famer, five-time Mr. Universe. Bill Pearl has passed uh, 91 years of age. He was still training up until the day he died. Bill uh, Pearl was just a man's man. He was a, a real hardcore bodybuilder to the core. And I think that there's not a single person out there who didn't respect him, including Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, who competed against him at the end of his career. And uh, he won the Mr. Universe professional division five times. He was also Mr. America. He was inducted into the IPB Hall of Fame. He got a Lifetime Achievement Award from Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, and he was a, a guy who just loved bodybuilding and lived the bodybuilding lifestyle to the very end. He wrote books. He was a guy who contributed so much to bodybuilding that we have to really... Um, a lot of people probably don't even know who he is, you know, but, you know, I grew up reading his articles uh, that he wrote in Muscle Mag. I, I read some of the books that he wrote about bodybuilding. And you could tell the guy had a passion for the sport and that, you know, he was the proverbial, you know, skinny kid who, you know, turned into the muscle man. I mean, he even credits the Charles Atlas ads that used to appear in the old comic books where it would say you are you a skinny kid do you want to get big muscles like charles atlas and you know you, you got to follow their program that they had and he said that that was really what influenced him to be the man that he uh, became you know he went into the military and he started uh, training i think he was stationed uh, in san diego and he was training at leo stern's gym leo stern was a hardcore you know wrestler bodybuilder powerlifter guy back in the day and he had a great gym and he kind of took um, bill pearl under his wing and Bill won a whole bunch of shows with him. Bill also mentored a lot of uh, top-level bodybuilders over the years, specifically Chris Dickerson, who won the Mr. Olympia competition under Bill Pearl's guidance. And Bill supposedly had a, a huge barn in his, in his house, and he had a huge gym in that barn. And people would come out. I didn't even know that you could do that. People would come out and train with Bill there. And he just you know, loved imparting knowledge to other people. And I can completely, that resonates with me. I can completely understand where he's coming from because I am the same way. I like to share the knowledge of diet, supplementation, training, everything that I possibly have in my head. I like to constantly put it out there to you guys so you guys can absorb it like sponges and then utilize that and then help other people, the future generations of, of bodybuilders. Uh, it, it's sad that Bill had Parkinson's because, you know, as a bodybuilder who, you know, wants to, you know, train their body, you know, to ha once your body starts failing you, it's uh, it, it can be a little depressing because you know obviously that's what we love to do. I mean I, I can kind of relate going through the fact that I have a you know a foot surgery. I'm going to be have a foot fusion more than likely, and that's going to limit my ability to ever train my legs again. And I love to train legs, so I I know what he was probably going through. But he had a few accidents over the last you know couple of years as he's gotten older. I know he rolled a, a lawnmower I think at one point, you know. But he was a tough guy and he overcame everything. The guy was just really resilient. But at the end of the day, 91 years old is is, is an old you know, he's lived a lot of life and, uh, you know, the body eventually gives out and he's in a better place now watching over us and hopefully imparting, you know, that same knowledge only maybe on a non-physical level at this point. So Bill Pearl, we will all miss you. I send my condolences and prayers out to his family. Uh, I think that the bodybuilding world is a different place now because of Bill Pearl. And in my mind, that makes him a very special person. Dave Palumbo with an RX Muscle News Update.